CBS2 Broadcast Center in Chicago. This is CBS2 News at 10. It's been nearly four weeks since more than 200 girls were kidnapped from their school in Nigeria and still no sign of the girls. Across the U.S., people took to the streets today demanding the girls' safe return. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemigno takes us to Chicago's rally. They rally at Daly Plaza in support of 276 schoolgirls kidnapped by the terrorist group Boko Haram in Nigeria. Protesters hold up the name of each girl taken. You're holding the name of Alaraba? Yes, and I pray for her, and I pray for the rest of them. Boko Haram is known for bombing schools and putting a stop to what they believe is westernization. I'm a mother, and I have a daughter, and what I want for my daughter is the world, and that world starts with a good education. Many fear the girls have already been sold into slavery. It's outrageous. It's something that we have to fight. And that is why we are appealing to the international community to help us. American and British security experts are now assisting in the search. Some here question why that's taken so long. The girls vanished three weeks ago. This lack of attention reflects our African policy. But there's 1,500 killed by Boko Haram since, uh, since January of this year. Uh, so this is a growing crisis that could have worldwide ramifications. Suzanne Lemigno. CBS 2 News. First Lady Michelle Obama spoke out today, calling the kidnappings unconscionable. Earlier this week, Mrs. Obama tweeted this picture with the global hashtag Bring Back Our Girls. Today, the First Lady used the weekly White House radio address to further raise awareness. Like millions of people across the globe, my husband and I are outraged and heartbroken over the kidnapping of more than 200 Nigerian girls from their school dormitory in the middle of the night. These girls embody the best hope for the future of our world. And we are committed to standing up for them, not just in times of tragedy or crisis, but for the long haul. A team of French experts is now in Nigeria helping with rescue efforts. They joined British and American teams already in place. No sleeping.